Hey guys, welcome back to Bristol Daily Homes. Ryan here. So we got a lot of homes to get through today. Ten homes um, that have come on over the last two, day, two or three days. The first one, 10864 Catlett Station Court in New Bristol Village, 535,000. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths, a little under a quarter acre lot, 4,638 square feet. Um, vinyl siding on the exterior here. We have a two car garage which is located on the back side of the house. Hardwood floors, stainless appliances, granite countertops. See, there's a kitchen, better view there. Closer over to the family room. 3,800 square feet above grade, so it's a good size home here. Um, and I think that the price point, granite countertops in the bathroom, the price point is, um, I think, definitely reasonable for the amount of space you're getting here. Um, only drawback is some people don't like having the garage on the back side of the home. Uh, it's a bigger lot than some of the other homes. Actually, sorry, I said that the garage is on the back, garage is on the front. I'm so used to looking at certain homes here um, that have that garage on the back side. This actually is a front load, which is even better because this is um, uh, more of a traditional style colonial here. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths, built in 2006. I think that it shows shows pretty well, um, and it's uh, you know pretty much has everything you want. It has all the amenities of New Bristol Village. HOA fee is 113 a month. 12016 Spring Beauty Road in Avondale, $529,999. This is a Waverly model with extensions to all five bedrooms. Kitchen upgraded with stainless steel appliances. Um, looks like, I don't know if this one, it looks like it's already complete. So this is the one that they're selling right here. Uh, so it is pretty much move in ready. You don't really have any uh, opportunity to change any options on this since it is already built. I don't know if this fell through with another contract has a finished rec room, almost 4,000 square feet. I think that's a decent price for this brand new home, craftsman style home, five bedrooms, two and a half baths. One, two, three, five, three, Barbie Road. Um, this is a detached colonial, 375,000. It's located in the historic Brentsville area. Um, houses behind the church and backyard extends towards Bristow Road. Uh, 375,000, 2.508 acres, so you're getting a good size lot here. Four bedrooms, two baths, built in 1901, so it's an older home. 3,242 square feet. Um, obviously, it's an old farmhouse, you can see from the pictures here. So those looking for a unique property. Uh, no inside pictures. Uh, and it also has a, a pond on the property as well. So, you know, unique house there might be worth a look. 10068 Hume Court is in Braemar, 360,000. Um, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, carriage style home, 1,858 square feet. Has an in ground pool as well. Fenced yard on three finished levels. Final siding from the exterior here. There's the pool, smaller pool obviously, because the lot's only just a little over an eighth of an acre. Not huge by any means. Um, and it just has a driveway. There's no garage on this one. Hardwood floors on the inside here. Kitchen, um, can't tell, looks like granite countertops there. Pretty neutral paints throughout. I think, you know, for a first time home buyer that doesn't want a townhouse, you know, you're not gonna get huge space here. There's the driveway off to the side. You can fit, you know, numerous cars there. Um, I don't want a townhouse, you want something that's attached. You get a decent sized lot here, uh, you know, for probably about thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 more than a townhouse. 9029 Ribbon Falls Loop. This is in Pembroke Section Victory Lakes, 349,990. Um, this is obviously one um, that has assigned parking, does not have a garage, but that means you get more space in the interior here, almost 2,500 square feet. Uh, in unit with lake views, which is very nice. See the backyard there, there's the deck, there's the water views. Hardwood floors throughout the main level. The kitchen, granite countertops, lots of cabinet space, master bedroom, patio underneath the deck as well, finished basement, tray ceilings in the master bedroom. I'll show as well, it's been freshly painted, it says top to bottom. Um, almost 2,500 square feet, this is one of the larger units. Those that don't want the, the garage because you just store stuff in there anyway, I think that this is a good price point. Uh, and, a, and a back into the pond, it's going to definitely be um, probably move pretty quickly, I'd imagine. There, 13050 Inver Gordon Street is in Braemar, 510,000, just over a quarter acre lot, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, built in 2005, 4,036 square feet. 
Um, located on a cul-de-sac with a tree-lined view. Vinyl siding, two-car garage. It's like hardwood floors in the foyer there. Also in the form of living and dining rooms. Family room, um, which the gas fireplace off the kitchen. It's like ceramic tile. Um, let's see here. Doesn't say kitchen. It looks like a gas cooktop there. Couldn't tell what type of countertops those were. It doesn't sh show here in the listing. <clears throat> Home has a finished walkout basement as well, as well as uh, a central vacuum um, and a sprinkler system. So it definitely has some upgrades. There's a media room there as well. 2,586 square feet, nice flat yard. Um, slopes a little bit on the side, but overall you've got a screened in porch and deck off the back as well. Good looking home here. Um, I think that the price point is, uh, is right in line. Um, also built in 5.1 surround system on that theater system. I missed that. So good home there. Decent price point. 9939 Bagpipe Court in Braemar, 474 900. 3,224 square feet. It's a colonial at the end of a cul-de-sac. Um, you've got getting close to a half acre. It's 0.37 to be exact. Vinyl siding from the exterior. I think that the plus on this one's going to be you have a good lot size, almost a half acre in Braemar. Hard to come by. Deck off the back. Hardwood floors in the interior. Family room flows through over to the kitchen. It's 2,500 square feet above grade, uh, built in 1997. Probably a little upgrading is going to be needed on this one, but I think that you know you have a partially finished off basement. You have a nice yard. Um, I think the price is, is within within the uh, the price range that it should be. A um, little bit of work to be done there. 12984 Benedictine Way, um, 305,900. This is the advertised subdivision of Catholics for housing. Smaller subdivision located a Linton Hall to Hunting Cove Place. Um, make a right on Rilda, left on Benedictine. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, townhome, 1,520 square feet, with one car garage. Got new granite and tile backsplash in the kitchen here. Nice deck. Ceramic tile when you come in. Built in 2007. Granite counters in the kitchen. Until it's been well taken care of, um, very looks very clean, open, and bright. Um, and many of the townhomes in Bristow have been pushing up right over this three hundred thousand dollar number now. Um, and I think that this one's is definitely priced reasonably. Backs to some woods there, uh, so good house uh, to check out there. One zero three one two Spring Iris Drive. This is Avondale. This is the Yates model. This is another brand new home. 0.172 acre, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, thirty three hundred twenty nine square feet. Uh, 519749 obviously is the price point here. This one looks like that this is ready in December. So this is just the model style home. So if you're interested in this model, uh, we can get you over there um, to kind of price out some options and things like that to figure out if it makes sense for you um, to buy a brand new home. 10333 Twin Leaf Drive. This is also Avondale. This is going to be, this one is a Waterbury water model and is ready to move in now, it appears. Two car attached rear load garage. 522, 235, 3,000 square feet, granite countertops, darker, um, like espresso type cabinets there, stainless steel appliances. Brand new home here, a little over an eighth of an acre, two car garage on the back side. Uh, price point, I mean, it's reasonable, obviously. It's not going to be huge, but you are getting brand new and a great subdivision there. So if you like to schedule showing for any of these, give us a call, 703 596 0011. Or you can contact us at the website, as always, at bristodailyhomes.com. Take care, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.